What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be ranking the Pretty Little Liars summer school characters. Now if you've been on my channel you know I did one for season one original sin. It was one of my first like videos on this channel. It was pretty bad but I'll leave my ranking like my previous ranking for the girls on the screen somewhere. My ranking has completely changed. For this season people that i had at the bottom are now at the top people i had at the top are way at the bottom so much changed with my ranking so i'm like you know what let's do summer school let's do season two and see how different my ranking for season one was now season two is already almost done there's only like three episodes left i feel like they should have got like way more episodes than they did in season one but i don't want to wait till the end of the season because i pretty much got a grasp of the girls storylines at this point my list is pretty much set and there's nothing that can like happen within the next three episodes that would drastically change my ranking anyway so I decided let me just give it to y'all now now for the most part it's just gonna be the main five girls but there are some new characters this season so I'm only gonna be talking about the main five girls along with Jen obviously Kelly she's gonna be in this like their new like boyfriends i guess they're not gonna be in this ranking if i were to rank all the guys like the boyfriends mouses would definitely be at the top and kelly's boyfriend would definitely be at the bottom like he is completely garbage before we get to the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and again i'll link down below my season one ranking original sin in the description and you guys could check that out after this video now again it's seven characters it's basically all the girls so coming in at the bottom at number seven is noah now again if y'all watched my last one she was nowhere near the bottom it was like towards the middle top of my previous ranking and now she's all the way at the bottom i really did try to like give her the benefit of the doubt but like we don't condone cheating let's blame the writers we could blame the writers and say it's the writers that you know they gave her a new storyline it's not her fault but like what am i supposed to do about that i can't believe she would do that to her boyfriend like, i know her and jen had history but like that's in the past y'all were both in juvie like why would you want to go backwards you have like a great boyfriend like why would you some people say jen made the first move but i feel like noah made the first move jen was feeling her but like noah was the one that first like took it to the next step so she's at the bottom i don't condone cheating and there's nothing really interesting like about her character this season i don't know what's, what is going on with her writing this season but like that all combined together is the reason why she's at the bottom i'm sorry noah defenders if there are any of y'all out there y'all not changing my mind i'm sorry noah's at the bottom all right speaking of jen she's next she's at number six same thing kind of with noah she's from her past I feel like she should also be like you know have a brain in her head and not pursue somebody who is taken like what to let her make her boyfriend pay for you to get out of jail I feel like that was so you know what maybe they deserve each other the brains are not turned on even when she was introduced I knew immediately what she was here for I knew immediately why they brought her into this season and I knew I was gonna be dis disappointed in her character new characters coming in is always like fun but like this is not fun if they end the season with them becoming an official couple and Noah breaking up with her boyfriend just to like start a relationship with Jen, um, we might give this season a two star. Alright, coming up next and number five is Kelly. I didn't really have her high on my original Sin ranking. She was towards the bottom with her twin sister, <laughs> Karen. But for some reason, I feel like I liked her better last season than this season, which is crazy. I'm not sure what they're doing with her character. I really was excited to see where they were going to take her this season. But I don't know, they're going for the like cult Christian storyline. Like she's in this cult her mom is forcing her into. I don't know. I just feel like I liked her more in season one, which is kind of weird I, I didn't think I would like her less but for some reason this season she's just not giving so Kelly you're at number five you're lucky there are people worse than you <laughs> this season like Noah and Jen because you would have been towards the bottom I can't really gauge where they're gonna take her character to end the season but I I don't know all right coming in at number four is Mouse I actually like that she has more of a presence this season I feel like last season she was the least seen of the five girls but like she's like in the top three now of like the most seen of the girls so I like that she has more of a role this season her character is kind of taking like the Spencer route if you guys know how Spencer was like she was super obsessed with finding a I hope they kind of take that same route with her like make her kind of go crazy crazy <laughs> like her grandma is her grandma's going crazy in this show i feel like they, they should make her like go off the deep end even though they're kind of taking that route with imogen i feel like mouse should also go crazy as well i don't know i want to know what's gonna happen with her 
and her boyfriend because I don't know it feels like they're growing apart and they're my favorite relationship in the show so I'm gonna be really sad if they end up breaking up I don't know what they're doing with the relationships this season they're, they're losing me all right we're in the top three this wasn't really that hard but I was just surprised that these people ended up in my top three because my top three did not look like this for my original sin ranking so I was really shocked making this list coming in at number three is Tabby now again if you saw that previous video she was at the top she was like my favorite character in season one now she's at number three it's not like they're they're doing her character wrong this season it's just that I liked her storyline in season one better than her storyline now it's still kind of similar like her storyline is not that different but I definitely would say I liked her in season one better but they're still doing a pretty okay job with her character I like that they're still showing that she has trauma from what happened to her and Chip she's like like super cautious now around like other like men in her life um i still don't know how to feel about the new guy y'all uh, for some reason i cannot remember his name he gives me i don't know i don't know what to think of his character i feel like at times i feel like he's actually gonna be a good guy and then i'm like okay you know how this show is Th they could make anybody turn out to be a villain like her her boss is also like extremely weird she should have just stopped working there after season one when he tried to come on to her and then now this season he's like in his racist era she should be working there like that job like to have your boss be a creep like that she needs to leave i'm kind of shocked that she's still working <laughs> at the orpheum i don't know how to feel about him um i feel like i'm gonna be shocked to end the season but i would not wish that for tabby i would want him to be actually be somebody that she could end up trusting knowing this show and the producers they're probably gonna try to traumatize her again i'm rooting for him to be an actual good guy but i wouldn't be shocked if he's actually a bad guy all right and coming in at number two i think her place is the same actually i feel like imogen is still in the same spot she was in number two i didn't think there was going to be a way that i would end up liking imogen even more um but i actually do like her even more this season i'm always for like a mental breakdown type of like crazy going off type of character i love those type of characters and i like the route they're taking with imogen she was going insane in the beginning of this season <laughs> she was going crazy she was popping pills she was hallucinating she was also giving spencer she was giving spencer more than mouse i mean i don't know we still have three episodes left so maybe she goes completely crazy end up going to like a mental hospital like the radley again the therapist who we also found out about ends up being her like doctor that would be so crazy to end the season um the guy that she's also seeing he's kind of in the same boat as the guy that is going for tabby i have the same vibe for both of them they they give me i don't know if i should trust them i don't know who to trust in this damn show but they're, they're giving me the same vibe i don't know if i should trust them if they're gonna be a good guy if they're gonna be a bad guy i feel like imogen does not need a relationship she's one of the four girls that i feel like needs to stay single her and tabby i feel like they don't need love interests her and tabby just need to be partners in crime imogen and tabby they just need to be the spencer and aria of this show and also do y'all trust the people that adopted imogen's baby at the beginning of the season like in episode one she was talking about how she felt kind of weird about ezra which i love that they included that in the show because back then when ezra was happening we didn't really like condemn it but now the show is i'm glad they did that the two guys that adopted her daughter i don't know i don't have to feel about anybody in this season this season i'm looking at everybody in a way i feel like something bad's gonna happen to imogen like half the girls have already been attacked i don't know what they're gonna do to her in the preview she looked like she was getting hit by a car i don't know imogen is not gonna know any peace anytime soon all right and coming in at number one is actually somebody who was towards the bottom if you could believe it Farron is at the top and she's also my new favorite character i thought tabby was gonna always be my favorite character but this season i absolutely am obsessed with Farron's storyline. I did not know they were gonna take her in this direction. In season one, she was kind of, you know, the snobby ballerina. She kind of had an attitude and she still has an attitude, but now it's not annoying. I found her really annoying in season one. If you guys, again, watched my previous ranking, Original Sin, I found her really annoying, but now she's at the top. Let's talk about her scene with Bloody Rose. I loved it. She actually stood her own for a long time. <laughs> she could have died, but she actually survived. And I'm glad she broke up with her boyfriend, I'm sorry. For a long time, I did did not see how compatible they were they were not compatible to me at all her and her boyfriend please do not make her go back to him because he's just i don't feel like he deserves her i gotta choose a cult over the baddest chick in town 
I don't know I just love the way she is this season like I last season I just found her really annoying she's my new favorite character can y'all believe that that never happens in my rankings like usually if you're at the bottom you stay at the bottom I wanted her to stay in ballet but I mean she's a swimmer now so whatever I like this new vibe she has that like I'm not depending on nobody Fair, you're at the top. I love you. All right, guys, so that was me ranking the PLL summer school characters. Again, the guys are not in this because I don't know how to feel about any of them. I have to wait completely till the end of the season to know what's gonna end up happening with their characters. They're not really in the show as much anyways, but I, I don't really know what to, what to think about the guys. So they're not in this ranking. So I just did all the girls. Leave your own down below. Again, there is three episodes left, so I don't think there could be anything that could change drastically the characters. I feel like this is them for the most part. This is how they're going to end for the most part. The only person I feel like that could change drastically is Noah. Like they could redeem her at the end of the season. But I feel like I still would not move her any place up in this list. But yeah, I don't know who to think who Bloody Rose is. I feel like it could be anybody. It could be Kelly's mom. It could be Kelly herself. I don't think it could be any of the guys. It's clearly a woman, but that would be crazy if it did end up being a guy, like putting on a wig, like chow. I don't know. I don't know what to think about the moms not really being in this season that much. The only mom I feel like I saw was Tabby's mom. And I feel like we saw Farron's mom once. And then we saw Mouse's moms once. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me how I feel about that. Do y'all want the moms to be more in the show? or is it okay how it is now? But anyways guys, leave me your prediction of who Bloody Rose is in the comments. I actually have no idea. They're doing a good job not making it obvious because I thought it was gonna be really obvious because there's not really a huge cast of people. But leave me in the comments who y'all think it is. Again guys, if you wanna check out any of my other rankings, I'll leave that playlist in the description and you guys should check that out after the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.